Good morning. It is June 1st, 2024. From the Branham Tabernacle, the Eagles are gathering together a letter from Brother Joseph Branham. Dear Royal Seed of Abraham, I send greetings around the world to them that are gathered together, listening in by the way of the hookup, feeding their souls on the fresh new manna that is falling from heaven. You are the purchase of the blood of Jesus Christ himself. Lord Jesus, I pray that you'll anoint the words tonight to the hearing of every ear that's under the divine sound. And if there be some here or listening in out across the nation. God is anointing the ears of each of us as we are listening in from around the world and hearing the divine sound of the voice of God speak to us. Thus saith the Lord. We are the genuine, born again, church of God that believes every word of God in the face of anything, regardless of what it is, because it is the true unadulterated voice of God speaking. God is making himself manifest in us, his bride, church. We are not the carriers of the seed. We are the royal seed. The entirety of his life that was in him has produced itself again in us, the real genuine bride church bringing forth the entire word of God in its fullness and in its strength. There cannot be any more church ages after this. We're at the end, brothers and sisters. We're here. We've arrived. Thanks be to God. We are at the end. We have arrived. The bride has recognized who we are. It's seed bride time. The shucks are dead. The shucks are dried up. We are the virgin-born Word of God made manifest. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, will not be touched. There will be no manhandling in us. We are the virgin birth of the bride. We are commanded by God to stay true to the pure virgin word. The seed must sit in the presence of the Son. The Holy Spirit, the voice of the Son of Man, so it can be ripened. And to us, there is only one way. Press play and hear the voice of the Son of Man himself. And I say that there is an elected church somewhere in this world that's crying out and set aside from those things. And the manifestation of God has attracted its attention. We're at the last days. We are God's eagles. There is no compromising in us. We can only eat fresh manna. We're like calves in the stall. We only eat stored up food that has been provided for us. We're seeing God's eagles around the world wanting that fresh manna. They'll keep looking till they find it. They'll fly higher and higher. And if there's none in that valley, he'll raise a little higher. They want the word of God fresh from the voice of God. Their eternal destination is resting upon it. Where the carcass is, the eagles are gathering. His spirit has come upon us to do the same things that he did. It's the reproducing again of the grain. We are Abraham's royal faith seed who take everything contrary to God's word and call it as though it is not. We can't doubt or misplace one word of God, for we believe it is, Thus saith the Lord, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Dear God, let us not turn our back upon it for some folly of the world, but let us tonight receive him with all of our heart. Lord, create in me a good spirit. 
the spirit of life that I might believe all thy words and accept Jesus, the word, the same yesterday, today, and forever, and believe today on the portion it's allotted to this age. Grant it, Lord. I ask it in Jesus' name. I would like to invite you to come hear God's vindicated voice for the end time as he gives us the food of the eagle, the promise of God. It takes a virgin belief in this word of God to be his bride. Brother Joseph Branham. Time, 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time. Message, the seed is not air with the shuck, 65-0218. Scriptures, St. Matthew 24-24, St. Luke chapter 17, verse 30, St. John chapter 5, verse 24, St. John chapter 14, verse 12. Romans chapter 8, verse 1. Galatians chapter 4, verses 27 through 31. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. Revelations chapter 10 and Malachi chapter 4. But when you come to say, I and my father are one and these other things, then the shirt pulls away from it. But the real genuine bride church will bring forth the entire word of God in his fullness and in his strength. For he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. 65-0218. The seed is not heir with the shuck. Reverend William Marion Branham. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. A spirit come up on the bride to do the same things that he did. See, it's a reproducing again of the grain. 65-0218. The seed is not heir with the shuck. Reverend William Marion Branham. This concludes the letter from Brother Joseph Branham. Until next time, God bless you. And shalom.